Hey, Bruce here with the 5-Minute Handyman. I want to talk to you a little bit about how we can uh, use a brush on a wall that we're going to be using a roller on and not have a lot of brush marks. So let me show you some of the hardware we're talking about today. So I have a 2.5-inch two, two Chinex uh, brush that I'm using to uh, paint and I'm trimming around the um, Door, door trim and what's important here is over on this side of the wall uh, if I look over this way I've got a big window over here and then I've got the lights from our vanity over on this side so if somebody is standing where I am um, they're gonna see all kinds of brush marks if we don't do this correctly so let me let me just see if I can get our, our paint to to show you what I mean. If I if I paint straight down, you see how you can see the lines of where the bristles are? That's because the light that's coming in from the window reflects off of those those up and down lumps from the paint that's on the wall and it and it creates that kind of a texture. Now if I smooth this out and go horizontal see how my brush marks went away and that's because the light is coming this way and it's following those ridges and it's not reflecting back at me so um, the key here is to look at where your light sources are okay I've got a window and I've got a vanity light over here and then you need to decide what direction is, go is going to give me the least amount of reflection reflection of that paint okay and so after I do some cutting around the side of this door frame so if I'm going to take and, and cut my nice straight line coming down I'm going to always want to feather out the paint but I'm I'm not going to want to leave it vertical like this I'm going to want to pull this out horizontal so that my paint is not going to show those lines and um, and then when I come back with my roller and go down the side here I'll have a nice transition and won't see those brush marks